Hey guys, Fellock here with another episode of what will probably be Fellock Labs. Um, first off, I'd like to say sorry for the fog. I know I usually don't have it, but I don't have my home ec world today, which I had made this in originally. And so I, I just remade it in a random world, and the world generation is kind of causing some unbearable lag. My frames are still pretty awful, even on short, but yeah. Okay, let's get this started. Um, I was watching a video the other day, and I saw Vertical Pains in a corner and it gave me an idea for a new door design and I've yet to see this so I guess you could call this my concept design which I'm not fine come on lag agree with me thank you so as you can see there's no regular door into this house so how do you get in and the question of course is a corner door um, I do make a lot of corner paths and corner um, not corner um diagonal paths and diagonal staircases and so I thought well why not add a door to that mix from when I got a design and now as you can see um, I actually recorded this once before it works with various blocks let's see here there we go see it will work with all blocks now of course you're gonna want to use one block otherwise it'll look weird like this but yeah see as you can see it works just fine and you can go in and you can go out. The wiring is pretty easy to hide. Um, I'll show you the wiring in a second though, but see, as you can see, obviously you can't get in now. So it, it works on the principle that when a block is next to it, it takes up a full space, but when there's nothing there, it's only half a block. Well, it's probably more than half a block or less than half a block. I don't know the exact measurement. Okay, and now I will show you the wiring since people are probably curious. Um, this will essentially be a tutorial on how to make it since it's so straightforward to make that really you can make it after just watching this video there's not that much to it I just peel all this back um, let's see this should yeah that'll be enough right there okay see obviously the pressure plates there um a few things though this block does have to be gone uh, I'll show you why right now if that block isn't gone it gets powered and then that happens so yeah so when making it Make sure that there are no blocks beside the piston, it's just easier. And now you run the wire over and then through to this, and that line continues it up and powers that, and then that powers that. And now these repeaters are essentially useless. Um, they are just there to make the number of ticks to the top and bottom the same, otherwise if those repeaters aren't there, it's only one tick delay instead of three, and so that part lowers and then the top lowers. So to make it in unison, you need those two repeaters and that's about all there is to it um just run a torch to it and on the other side you just run it under the pressure plate and to this block thing again and that's, that's all it is it's really straightforward that's why i'm amazed i have never seen something like this myself personally so yeah uh i don't know use the design i guess it's uh pretty cool i definitely will be using this in my base and my lp series and other various things probably in my home ec world a few more times just because i like it so much Plus, it, uh, I like to do a lot of things with glass panes, as you know, and this is pretty good to do with them, that is for sure. Oh yeah, also, one more thing before I go, um, as you know, 1.1 just launched, and there's something pretty cool. Um, I had never seen it before, I mean, some of you guys might have, here, I'll sleep really quick. But um, there's a village right by here, and so I looked in it really quick, and as you know, there are, um, there are chests now in villages. Come on, lag. Agree with me once again. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. I'm having some issues flying right now because of this. I will not be defeated by this lag. There we go. Ha ha! Victory for me. Uh, I think it's over here. I don't know. It's really hard to tell because of this. Okay, one second. You guys are going to have to deal with a little bit more fog, oh, a little less fog, a little more lag, um, yeah, ooh, that is loading slow, my god, here, if I fly, okay, if I fly into, there we go, there's a villager, cool, um, okay, let's down that again, I thought it was a little further away than that, yeah, okay, fog, they're in a very foggy village, I don't know, they're in, like, the Alps, let's go with that, I don't even know if that would be foggy, but I'm going to say it is. Also, look at this hazard of a freaking well. 
Who designed that? That is awful. You sirs are horrible at city planning. But um, now let's see. Where's the blacksmith? He was the one with the chest. Um, no one else really had anything worth mentioning. Now where is it? Um, I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Okay. Yeah, you should see this. It's uh, actually pretty cool, especially if you've never seen a chest before. And it was a lot more useful than I thought it would have been. Heck, it's actually now more profitable to go find villages than it is to go find a dungeon. Because look at that. There's iron armor in it, iron swords, apples, everything. Apparently, um, I was talking to Greg just a second before this, Um, you can even find diamonds sometimes. Although I assume that would, of course, be a little more rare. But I mean, yeah, go loot a village now. It's even more profitable. Who knows? Um, I don't. I assume more than just the blacksmith can probably have. A chest, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I haven't really read about it at all, and I'm not really on any sites that update uh, a lot of information and pictures and stuff. But yeah, well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you guys next time, and until then, stay classy.